After further examination of the documents you brought back, I have to agree with your assessment. The Ashlander Chordala has somehow siphoned divine energy away from Lord Vivek. Not exactly. But now that we know that the affliction isn't natural, we can work toward a solution, one that probably involves Chordala's staff. How the Ashlander got his hands on Sothasil's tool and turned it into a weapon is beyond me, though. Eventually, but we need to be cautious. If Chodala is as respected as you say, attacking him would start a war we can't afford to partake in. Go to Aldrin and talk to his sister, Saren. I don't trust her either, but she worked with you before. Get to Aldrin and locate Saren. She needs to tell us more about Chodala and then help us acquire his staff. Without it, we can't restore Vivek. Meanwhile, I need to placate the populace. The people grow concerned over Vivek's continuing isolation. Didn't we cover this? Let me refresh your memory. Lord Vivek suffers stoically as his divine energy drains away. Neither my administrations nor his defenses have been sufficient to plug the hole, so we've isolated him to keep panic to a minimum. If we knew for certain, we wouldn't be sending you to make a deal with a heretical Ashlander, now would we? Chodala must have something to do with Vivek's energy loss, but the how and why remain a mystery. That's why I must examine that staff. Everything you uncovered suggests the staff and Sotha Sil's missing tool are one and the same, and it's obviously connected to Chodala's newfound powers. Bring it back here so I can study it. The solution resides in the staff. I'm sure of it. Experience, Outlander. Experience. I have seen the Dunmer rage against the gods at the least provocation. When they realize that Vivek is ill, that his powers are failing, they'll weep and gnash their teeth like frightened children. The people don't handle the infirmities of their deities very well, especially when those infirmities could foreshadow Red Mountain's eruption or portend the moonlits fall from the sky. Once such fear ignites, it spreads like wildfire. They try not to think about them at all. The Ashlanders are savages. They refuse to acknowledge the supremacy of Lord Vivek in the Tribunal, instead putting their faith in the despicable Daedra. They're heretics, pure and simple. The Ashlanders hold the superstitions the way Quama protect their eggs. If they really considered Chodala to be the Nereverin, then any action you take against him will enrage the tribes. Talk to Saren and see if she can suggest an alternative course. in this inhospitable sea of ash. I wonder if we might help each other. Outlander, quickly! This way! I've been thinking about my brother's claim that he's the Nerevarian since we last spoke. No matter how I try, the word tastes false on my tongue. And now I fear he's about to convince the wise woman that his quest for power will benefit the tribes. My brother is respected and revered. He has allies in all of the tribes, not to mention his personal red exiles. We have to proceed with caution. Respect the Ashlander customs and traditions. Anything else will lead to violence and bloodshed. We talked to my brother. Tried to convince him this isn't the way. Barring that, we make sure the wise woman doesn't get drawn into his madness. Whatever Chodala says or does, don't attack him. We don't need a war between the houses and the Ashlanders.
the wise woman. I was hoping she'd be here. You're too late, dear sister. Despite your protestations, the wise woman has gone to the cave of the incarnate to confirm my claim. Brother, do you really want to pursue this dangerous course? There was a time when you gave me your unconditional support, Saren. I miss those days. <sighs> My brother Chodala is about to do something foolish and dangerous. But by dusk and dawn, Azura put you and I on the same path for a purpose. Just hope we have enough time. He's about to claim the title of the Nerevarine and try to unite the Ashlander tribes gathered here. He already convinced the Red Exiles to support him. He's using them to intimidate the other tribes. If he persuaded the Wise Woman to his cause. Wise Woman Dovrasi. The most respected counselor and spirit guide this side of Red Mountain. She went to the cavern of the Incarnate to meditate on Chodala's claim. If she confirms my brother's assertion, the tribes will follow wherever he leads. Agreed, but I dare not leave Chodala alone with the tribes. I feel the hand of Azura in all this. Go to the cavern of the Incarnate and talk to the wise woman. I'll stay here and try to keep things under control until you return. The caverns to the northeast of Aldrin, on the other side of the mountain. Hopefully, the rumbling and lava won't slow you down too much. Get to the cavern and talk to the wise woman. If she accepts Chodala's claim about the Nerevarin. Azura proclaimed that someday, Indorel Nerevar, a hero from our ancient past, would return to unite the Dark Elves and right the wrongs of Nern. We call the returned incarnate the Nerevarin. My brother Chodala believes that he's Nerevar reborn. When Chodala became a Gulakan, a champion of our people, I supported him. When he stepped forward as Ashkan, leader of our tribe, I was at his side. But this new claim, it comes with strange powers and talk of war. I can't support those things. My brother isn't the first to believe he's Nerevar returned. All of the previous failed incarnates rest within the cavern. A statue of Azura watches over them as they await the arrival of the true Nerevarin. Where are you? Come back, Rosie. Rosie, I have some treats for you. Azura is my shield, you foul creatures. for aiding me, but I sense you came for a different purpose. 
Let's talk inside the cavern. Surely there must be another way. No, my lady, of course not. I'll do as you ask. Come here, Outlander. We must talk. It feels strange to talk to an Outlander in such a sacred place. But the Queen of the Night Sky insists. I need to render judgment on an important claim. And she says you can help me reach the correct decision. Words of truth from the mouth of an outlander. Remarkable. The Red Exiles and a few others believe that Chodala is the Nerevarian. He's convinced them, but not me. I came here to consider my options. I fear a bloodbath if I oppose his claim. Perhaps, but I must remain impartial. If someone else reveals the flaws in Chodala's claims by comparing him to the failed Incarnates, that might do the trick. We thought the Incarnates were possessed by the spirit of Nerevar, but each had a critical flaw that made them destined to fail to fulfill the prophecy. Their spirits reside here. Yes, you should speak to the Incarnates. I see Azura's wisdom now. Take this pouch of blessed grave dust. Sprinkle a pinch upon the bones of the incarnates to call forth their spirits. Return to Aldrin after you have learned all you can. Perhaps we can curb Chodala's ambitions before they lead us to war. We need knowledge to defeat Chodala Outlander. Listen well to what the failed incarnates have to say. The Nerevarin remains a promise unfulfilled. And I am as guilty of prideful posturing as every other failed incarnate that occupies this hall. Ask your question and let's be done with this outlander. The Nerevarin must listen, as well as proclaim. I refuse to accept wise counsel, which led to the doom of my tribe and the end of my quest to embody the spirit of Nerevar. I take my scroll and remind the wise woman that wisdom ignored is ignorance. We are the failed incarnates, the Ashlanders, who proudly proclaimed themselves to be the Nerevarian, but were found wanting. The Lady of Dawn and Dusk urged us to cooperate. So ask your question, Outlander. Take my scroll and help the wise woman see the lie of unbridled power. I thought myself the reborn Nerevar, for I was the strongest, most powerful warrior in all the land. But power alone won't save my people. In the end, it couldn't even save me. Once I was the hope of my people, but then my claim was proven false. Now I wait, and I hope for the Nerevarian's return. State your question, Outlander, and I shall do as Azura urges. To fulfill the prophecy, I followed a path of blood and war. In the end, my path became a road that led nowhere, and I was cast down from my lofty spot. Take my scroll, and help the wise woman understand the futility of a senseless war. Mortal, let us speak. 
I foresaw your usefulness before you even set foot in Bardenfell. Now comes a test that will challenge your ability to separate truth from lies. You must convince the tribes that Chodala is not the Nerevarian. Doversi's wisdom outshines most other mortals. She recognizes the futility of Chodala's claim. If she rebuffs him, however, the tribes will turn on each other, and blood will flow. The staff, Sunra, it makes Chodala confident, reckless. Your instincts serve you well. Chodala's path took a dark turn. However, my sight clouds when I look too closely. So Thessil built Sunra, but he did not create it with this vile purpose in mind. You must act on my behalf and Vivex. Then go, return to Aldrun and help the wise woman reveal the falsehood of Chodala's claim. And let Saren assist you. She is my champion and a trusted friend of all Ashlanders. Due to an ancient pact, I am not permitted to interfere in the affairs of Nern. Even this casual discussion pushes the boundaries of that agreement. Instead, I must work through trusted agents, such as yourself and Saren. Use what the Incarnate shared with you. Their failures point the way toward Chodala's downfall. But beware Chodala's power. He may not be the Nerevarine, but some greater agency has lent strength to his conviction. Helping that arrogant imposter? Whatever gave you the idea that I was helping that murderer? Vardenfell must stand. Everything I do in this regard serves that single goal. Best that you remember that, mortal. <laughs>